In my community, Métis aren't really, like, nobody, like, really confronts themselves as Métis, so it was nice to, like, know people that are, like, the same as me, I guess, if that makes sense, you know? Because we're not always connected to the to other Métis kids, like, like now. You can connect with them and relate to them with different activities. So how many times have you been able to go to a Métis youth forum? Never. Ever. No, this is my first one. I think this is probably a lot of people's first ones, unless they went to the ones like five years ago. It's awesome because I have never been around as many Métis people at the same time. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've never met uh, other Métis kids before. This is the first time. Uh, it makes me feel as if there's always more to learn and that the depth of my heritage, my culture, is uh, very intense and that's, that's very good. I like it, I enjoy it. Like, everybody's engaged, everybody is enjoying it. Like, it's really interacting. I'm very excited because I signed up for a workshop that's all about employment and self-awareness. We did a bunch of cooking and we learned like what kind of things you should always have in, a, in your pantry, which I actually found really helpful. Oh, um, when we, when the cultural stuff came into one of the workshops, I was really like impressed with all the things that she had. I was like, really fortunate to be part of that. It's you, at this stage as the youth, they have the power to change the things they want to change for the better of the people that's coming behind them. So the first thing we did when we got to the conference was we had super great food and I, I, I eat a lot so it was fantastic. And then we did this um, sort of leadership slash trust exercise with a giant like a rope and everyone held on and like almost fell and it was almost really scary but it was, it was really fun. The knot was really strong and everyone kind of like held together and that was, that was super cool. The workshops definitely prepared me for uh, jobs and skills, especially the one workshop where we had to look at our strengths because I can sometimes be a self-critical person and it's nice to actually know what those strengths are to be able to offer those in job interviews and be more confident in that, so that was a good experience. I did go to like a Métis thing a couple of years ago and she like talked about the medicines, but I never really had the experience to like make my own medicine bag, so I thought that was really awesome. So I have like a collection of spirit stones, and I'm gonna add that to my medicine pouch that I just made the other day. Um, and uh, and we got medicine, so we got cedar, tobacco, and sweetgrass. Give me a second. I think I liked. Well, I wasn't learning so much. That was something I did. Favorite thing I learned. I mean, a lot, some of the things is review, but a lot of it is really interesting. I liked going over um, all of the different types of intelligence and seeing other people's intelligence levels and different things and comparing them all and what they're useful for. The first toast, I think, was definitely like, I have a certificate! Uh, definitely prepared me. Because I got, I'm new at my job and like customers that are kind of like mean, I guess. I just need to take a breath and just try my hardest. Thank you for having me. I heard there was a lot of applications, and I was just like really fortunate to get picked, and I'm really happy. <laughs> I've always felt there was kind of like a hole in my life missing. At I didn't even know that I was Métis. My grandmother hid it for obvious reasons because of the hurt that she experienced. And I've looked into religion, I've listened, and it just never really worked. And coming to these events, I feel whole. It is very healing. It 
just learning about my culture has given me confidence. It it made me realize that I am the way I am because of my ancestors. 